after Mr. Bear will tell you a story about one of us. I'm going to tell you the story of a cuttlefish. Once upon a time in the village deep beneath the sea, a community of fish spent their days singing and dancing. Tra-la-la, tra-la-lee, here we are under the sea. Tra-la-la, tra-la-lee, here we are under the sea. Tra-la-la, tra-la-lee, life is good and life is free. Tra-la-la, tra-la-lee. Life is good and life is The coast is clear. Tra -la -la, tra -la -la. This is just the life for me. Tra -la -la, tra -la -la. La -la -la -la. This is just the life for me. Help, Mommy, help! You help, help! You can get mommy. away from me. Come back here. God, got you help. now. Come back here, you little sprat. Help, help, help. I got you. You can't get away. Help, help, Come help. Do you pay for that stuff? Hold still, do you pull your foot, you dirty Mommy, where are you? You hurt your head, boss. You're bleeding. We better take care of it. Come on. Oh, yeah. Here. Let, let me help you up. Okay. Come on, boss. Come on. I'm so afraid, Mommy. It hurts oh, so much. Oh, don't worry, my little darling. It's all over. What we have to do now is try to stop this bleeding. Then you'll feel a whole lot better. Uh, will you see what you can do for my little baby? Go find Dr. Cuttlefish. She'll have the medicine we need. That's a good idea. I'll be right back. We've got to stop the bleeding as quickly as possible. Oh, my head. Uh, what can I do? A little parasite. Don't get me some medicine from that cuttlefish quack. Uh, uh, but I'm afraid to go there alone, boys. And you ain't afraid of what will happen to you here if you don't go? I, I, I'm sorry, boss. I don't know what happened to me. Of course I'll go. I'll go get the medicine from the cuttlefish right away. Only don't hate me, boys. Please don't hate me. It's very good of you to come see the poor little creature yourself. Here comes Squid with Dr. Cuttlefish. At last, at last. It's getting worse, Mommy. You'll be all right. <laughs> Let's take a look. Is it serious? This medicine should take care of it. Will it stop the bleeding? So I can feel better. Ow! Oh, she doesn't like this. The bleeding stopped. You did it. It's like magic. You've saved his life. You must be very proud to be such a fine doctor. Just be sure to apply this so that the wound doesn't open up. Don't worry, Doc. We'll take good care of him. 
I want you to know how grateful we all are. We owe you so much. Oh, sure, yes. Doc. Thank, thank you, you thank, so thank much. You, I know I can never pay you enough for all you've done, but I want you to accept this little gift. Please, take this mirror. You're much too kind. You really shouldn't. No, I want you all to have right. it. All right. Thank you. Mm, take a gift, eh? Thank you again for coming. You deserve that and more. Now, be sure to call me if you need me. I shall. Thank you, Doctor. Here, look, I brought you something. I hope you like it. Oh, it's so nice to get presents. Just don't go making a habit of it. Don't worry. It's beautiful, cousin. Is there a surprise inside? I hope you don't expect a present every time you do somebody a favor. I've never seen this side of you before. You worry me. I've never asked anybody for anything. You know that. Be ridiculous. Be a present. Just give me that medicine. Just hear me out, boys. Look, look, look. The easiest way to get the medicine is to give her a gift. <laughs> Trust me, boys. <laughs> Remember me? Oh. Hmm. I can't believe you don't remember. Hmm. I live over in the village of the Emperors. Uh, with my brother, that wretched bullhead came and attacked our village this morning. It was just terrible. <gasps> How it's, it's... awful! You mean he attacked you as well? Would I kid you? What happened? Well, he left my brother with a terrible gash in his head. I hear you have a wonderful medicine for wounds like that. That's right, I do. It's strange that Scoundrel would attack two villages in one day. Strange. Still hurt. Be brave. I'll just go get some more of Dr. Cuttlefish's medicine and you'll be fine. I'll be right back. Please hurry. If you could just give me a little bit of your medicine for my poor brother, I'd be ever so grateful. Very, very grateful, yes, of course. To show just how grateful I'd like you to have this. Here you go, dear. No, no, really, I can't accept it. It's much too much. Please, it would mean so much to me and my poor brother. Dr. Cuttlefish, are you home? Who's there? Oh, it's you. I'm terribly sorry if I'm bothering you, Dr. Cuttlefish, but... What is it? Well, my poor baby is still not feeling very well. I was thinking if you could just give me some more of that medicine of yours. I'll come when I can. Oh, thank you so much. I wish there was something I could do to show how much I appreciate what you're doing. I'll be right there. Mm, mm, mm. The fish around here are certainly an ungrateful lot, I can tell you. Now, you'd never find me coming asking for your medicine if you had it. No, sir, uh -uh. Really? Yes, I'd feel terribly guilty. Guilty is the word. If you don't accept my humble gift, in all honesty, I don't think I can accept your medicine if you don't. Be careful, it's heavy. In that case, you've been very kind. My poor brother will feel better just knowing that you accepted our gift. I'm sorry. I can't come see your brother myself. But here's the medicine. Take it. Oh, you saved my poor brother's life. You're a wonderful person. No, really, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, what could it be? Oh, my goodness. Beautiful. Oh, that's good now. I thought another. Must 
Come on, hurry! It's heavy. Well, don't expect me to carry yours too. Mine's just as heavy. I'm not asking you to. Just slow down till we get home, all right? Fine. Nothing for me. <laughs> One fish that appreciates you. Mother Breen, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be at home? I was so worried about my little baby. I went to see Dr. Cuttlefish. Was she as helpful as before? She had someone strange with her. Hmm. I'll go make sure she's coming. <gasps> Cousin, what are you doing? Hi. Why are you still here? Weren't you supposed to take some medicine over to the little Bream boy? You know he's still not well. What in the world's gotten into you? I didn't really promise to go. What? Well, nobody really seems to appreciate everything I do for them. What do you mean? I have to do everything for nothing. It's because of that strange fish that came by and gave you a present, isn't it? Well, yes. He gave me a present, but he wasn't so strange. That's what you say. Now get moving. Poor Mother Bream is expecting you. Oh. Her little boy is still not well. What right do you have to give me orders? How do you feel now? <laughs> Great. <laughs> I'm really happy for you, boss. Steal all the medicine she has and bring it to me here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, why do I have to seal all her medicine, uh, boss? <laughs> because then all the other fish will have to come here to get it. <laughs> so we can eat them all one by one. <laughs> That's a great idea. You're so brilliant. Boss, I'm sure. If I bring her an even bigger present, she'll give me anything. She is so greedy. When she takes a look at what I bring her, <laughs> she won't be able to resist it. <laughs> bring her here, too. Did I see him with the good head? Dr. Cuttlefish, are you there? Who is it now? Oh, I am so glad I found you at home. Did you forget something? Uh, uh, no, no. Uh, uh, my brother wanted you to know how grateful he is. The medicine ah. went beautifully. He is completely healed. He asked me to come and thank you for your kindness and to bring you another gift. You shouldn't have. Uh, careful, it's even heavier than the last one. What could have happened to Dr. Cuttlefish? It still hurts, Mommy. She'll be right you here. were such a friend to go see if she was going to be able to come. I hope something Mom, hasn't occurred. Oh! I don't want you to worry, but I don't know what to say. She's not coming. No. We've got to do what something. What can we do? <laughs> we can't make her come. I just don't know why she wouldn't. It must have something to do with that strange fish. Did you see him? Afraid so. That's it. If it's that same slimy fish I saw with the bullhead, my cousin is in trouble. Do you think it is? I'm sure Let's of it. Let's go find out. This mirror is very different from the oh, one Mama Breen gave you. Here, take a look at yourself and you'll oh, see what I mean. It's magnificent. You see how much prettier you are? Oh, it's wonderful. I've never seen so many beautiful things before. And these are but mere trinkets compared to what my brother would like to show you if he will come to me to his place. <laughs> my brother is so grateful for what you've done that he would like to share with you amphoras brimming with the most delectable delicacies, the glistening jewels and mirrors and marble, or the marvelous treasures he has gathered in his magnificent palace. He would be honored if you would come and make yourself at home <laughs> and choose whatever pleases you as partial payment for making him well again with your extraordinary medicine. So, uh, what, what do you say, uh, uh, Dr. Cuttlefish? Do, 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 I forgot myself. Uh, do we have a deal or what? Are you going to say no to a deal you cannot refuse? I mean, it isn't every day that someone gets an offer to be a queen. It's an experience not everybody has had in this life. Come on, Doc, what do you say? <laughs> oh, but I had 
Stay here. Oh, please don't make me mad. I have to see Mama Bream. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Always thinking of others. Uh, now, you uh, have to think about yourself, you know. You're right. If I don't, who will? Oh, no. She's following him. It won't be much longer now. Don't worry. All right. He's Mama back. Bream. Dr. Kettlefish is going off with that strange thing. We'd better go get all the others and find out what's happened to her. Hurry! He's right. She's definitely not here. We've got to find her right away. I'm afraid she's in grave danger. Let's split up and look everywhere. I thought you said your brother was completely healed. Why does he need the medicine? Uh, is it better safe than sorry? <laughs> it's you. Uh, I've been waiting for you. <laughs> she bought it hook, line, and sinker, boss. <laughs> Sucker. I'm greedy, too. <laughs> I'll give it all back. <laughs> too late. Now, where's the medicine? Give me the medicine, or I'll really give you something to cry about. Give it in. Yeah, boy. It's a medicine. It's all mine now. <laughs> I'll teach you to blow your ring at me. There's Dr. Cuttlefish. Hurry, go tell Squid. I'm on my way. Oh, don't have a chance. Uh, Give it up. Take that, you're you. Oh, I'll you. That's for my baby. I'll get you for this. Don't think you can get away from me that easy. <laughs> We have to hurry. He's gaining on us fast. We're not gonna make it. He's right behind us. Gotcha. This will teach you. You're going to pay. We're going to teach you such respect we're finally free. Look, it's the medicine. All's well that ends well. See what happens when you think only about yourself? Aren't you ashamed? You ignored your patients and completely forgot about all those who needed your help just because of a few worthless presents. I know, but I like them. They were so pretty. Uh, don't worry. I've learned my lesson. I won't let it happen again. I. Oh, I understand, dear. You don't have to explain to me. Here, take your no, medicine you and use it wisely.
cuttlefish. How are cuttlefish classified in the animal kingdom? The cuttlefish is a mollusk of the cephalopods class, of the Sepioidea order, and of the Sepidae family. The cuttlefish grows up to 40 centimeters long. It has an ovoidal or egg-shaped body bordered by a fin, and 10 tentacles with suction discs. It's characterized by a broad, tapering, internal calcified shell known as the cuttle bone. How many species are there, and where do they live? There are many species of Sepidae. The best known is the Sepia officinalis, or common sepia, which lives in the Mediterranean Sea. How do they live? Cuttlefish prefer shallow coastal waters with a sandy or muddy seabed in which they can camouflage themselves completely. In fact, like all cephalopods, cuttlefish can adapt their body coloring so that it blends into the surrounding environment. How do they move? Cuttlefish have an ingenious system of siphons, which allows them to move quite quickly, taking in water between the cuttle bone and the body and shooting it out at the back. In other words, they move with their own elementary jet engine. What do they eat? Cuttlefish are carnivores and predators. They feed on small fish and mollusks, which they catch with their tentacles. How do they protect themselves? Cuttlefish have a very special defense system. When attacked, they squirt out a black liquid, similar to ink, which quickly envelops them in a thick cloud, allowing it to escape predators. The cuttlefish's ability to camouflage itself is also an excellent defense system. How do they relate to people? Cuttlefish have no rapport with human beings, beyond being considered a very tasty dish when cooked. You have to study and train with great determination. <laughs> oh, look who's coming! <laughs>